In this video, we are going to create a product master and then some product variations to release. So product information management, we can either create this in release products, which will automatically release it into this legal entity, or we will go to product masters and release it later. So we'll create a new product master and we want this to be a physical product, an item. Product master will give this an ID and we are going to create a product master for some leather gloves. And the retail category, we can use a preset hierarchy. Accessories. And here we want to specify the dimension group and the gloves will come in different colors and sizes. So we'll choose that. And we can check the active dimensions by clicking on that. And we see the active dimensions in this group are size, color, and these dimensions are available to use as criteria on trade agreements for both purchase and sales prices. We'll go back to our form. Now, the configuration technology determines how and when the product variants based on the current product master are configured. So predefined variants, we specify those product variants now. The other two options are configured when they are added to transaction lines, but we won't cover those here. So we'll stick with predefined variant and create our product master. So let's set up the product master so that product variants can be created. So far we can see we have no product variants. So we need to set up our product dimensions. And as we saw before, the active dimensions are sizes and colors. So we'll create a new size and we'll choose from our predefined list. We'll choose uh, S for small. And we can give that a name and we'll add a new, this will be medium, and a third one, large, and we'll save those. We'll go to our colors. We'll choose a couple of colors from our predefined list. We'll have black. Why not give it a name? And one more color, we'll choose cherry. And save that. So now we've set up our product dimensions, we can go to product variants and we can create some variants either manually by choosing the specific size and color, or we can just ask for variant suggestions, which will give us every possible combination. We will select all and create and we will now have all of our different combinations of size and color. Now in the future, we may wish to add additional product dimensions and in order to automatically generate new product variants based on those new dimensions, we can just toggle generate variants automatically. And then when we do add another dimension, We'll add another color. 
let's choose blue plaid and now when we go to our product variants we will see those additional combinations automatically created. Now we have created all our product variants, we are going to release them all at the same time. So we release products and this gives us the product master. And all the different variants. So we're going to release everything at once. We will choose the legal entity in which to release them. We'll choose this. And we get our summary of products to be released and finish. And our products have been released.